In the last video, we talked about how when Jesus returns, amazing things are going to happen. When he returns, he will appear in the sky. And Paul wrote that all who follow him will be caught up into the sky to meet him in the air. And when that happens, we won't have human bodies anymore. No, we will be transformed to have immortal resurrected bodies. So how will you look? What will that body be like? What will it be able to do? Well, there are some amazing clues in the Bible that answer that very question. Stay tuned. So as we saw in the last video, when Jesus returns, he's going to rule on the earth as king. Zechariah 14, 9 says the Lord will be king over the whole earth. Now, before Jesus comes down and touches the ground, he's going to have a little family reunion in the sky when he shows up. We're going to all meet him in the sky and we are going to be transformed to have immortal bodies. As it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and we will be with the Lord forever says again in first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 52 in a flash in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality so get the picture when Jesus comes back, he's going to appear in the sky and the believers who have died will be raised in new bodies to meet him in the sky. And then we who are alive and seeing all this going down, well, we're not just, just going to be left on the earth. We're going to be caught up to meet them in this great reunion in the sky as well. And we also will be given new immortal bodies. So again, I ask, what will that new body look like and what will it be able to do? Let's get into it. In 1 Corinthians chapters 15 and 16, the Apostle Paul, he explains that there are two types of bodies, two types of bodies. There are earthly bodies and there are heavenly spiritual bodies. OK, as it reads, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 40, there are heavenly bodies and there are earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly bodies is one kind and the splendor of the earthly bodies is another. So what is the earthly body like? Well, you know what the earthly body is like. You're living in it right now. And you know how it is. Sometimes you get sick. Sometimes it has pain. You know, your earthly body is limited by things like physical space and time. So it's it's far from perfect. You see, the Apostle Paul, he explained that just like how when you have a seed and you plant that seed, you're going to expect for eventually that seed to turn into a fruit or maybe a plant. Well, this earthly body is like God's seed. When God sowed our body as a seed into this earth, there is this great expectation that one day this body will become what it was supposed to be. And when Jesus returns, there will be a great harvest and we will be transformed into what we were supposed to have. Heavenly spiritual bodies. As it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 42, this is how it will be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, but it will be raised a spiritual body. So <laughs> what is this heavenly spiritual body like? OK, let's just get into it. So remember, there are two types of bodies. There are earthly bodies and heavenly bodies. When Jesus came to the earth, he came as a human in the earthly body. 
But when he was raised from the dead, the scripture teaches that he was resurrected in a new heavenly spiritual body. And all who follow him will walk the same life pattern as Jesus. When you believe in Jesus and you confess him as your Lord and King, you will find yourself walking the same life pattern as he. What do I mean? Well, once you believe in Jesus, well, just like Jesus was a human, you are a human. OK, just as Jesus called God his father, you can now call God your father. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. And eventually, just like how Jesus was raised in his new heavenly body, you too will be raised in a new heavenly spiritual body as it reads philippians 3 21 but our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly await the savior from there the lord jesus christ who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glory glorious body so if we want to if we want to know what the new body is like we just have to study those in the Bible who had the new body. And one of the prime examples of that is Jesus, because when Jesus was resurrected, he had this new heavenly body. Guess who else has this new heavenly body? And guess who else has the spiritual body? Angels. That's right. According to the scripture, Angels also have the heavenly spiritual body also. Remember, Paul said that in the resurrection, we will be like Christ. But Christ said that in the resurrection, we will be like the angels. Well, why are we going to be like Christ or like the angels? Well, the answer is both. You see, both Jesus and angels have that heavenly spiritual body. There are two types of body, earthly bodies and then heavenly bodies. When Jesus was when Jesus was resurrected, he had the same type of body that angels had, the heavenly spiritual body. That's found in Luke 20, 34. You see, Jesus was surrounded by people asking him a lot of questions. And one of those questions was, you know, what? how is marriage going to be like in the resurrection? And what are we going to be like? And Jesus told them in verse 34, he said, the people of this age marry and are given into marriage. But those who are considered worthy of taking part in the age to come and in the resurrection of the dead will neither marry or be giving in marriage and they can no longer die for they are like the angels. They are God's children since they are children of the resurrection. So basically he's saying if you are a, ch a child of of the resurrection that means you know you are a child of god which means you are going to have the heavenly body like the angels have for they will be like the angels so in that passage jesus was saying that we will have that angelic heavenly body which is the same type of body he had so what were some of the things that jesus was able to do in his new body <laughs> You know, a lot of times when you hear people talk about the heavenly spiritual body, you know, they think that we will look like spirits or ghosts without being able to really operate in the physical world. Well, no, the Bible says we are not going to just be spiritual ghosts when you get that new body. You see, when you die, you, you, the spirit is just by itself. But when you get this new spiritual heavenly body, you know, there's a reason it's called a spiritual body. It's called that because it will be a physical body that can interact with the spiritual realm. That's right. It will be a spiritual. It will be a physical body that can interact with the spiritual realm. Well, what am I talking about? Well, when Jesus was resurrected, he did something amazing. And the Bible recorded this so that you would be able to get a glimpse at what you will be able to do. You see, when Jesus was resurrected, before his followers even knew that he had come back to life, they were all in a room and the doors were locked. And they were in this room with the doors locked because they were all terrified. They were thinking they were going to be next to die. And so they were in this room locked and they were sad because Jesus had died. And Jesus appear out of nowhere 
right in front of him. He was able to do that. And we find this in John chapter 20, verse 19. It says on the evening of the first day that week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. You know, it, it wanted to make a point that the doors were locked and Jesus still was able to just appear before them. And also in John uh, verse 26, it says a week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. And though the doors were locked, they want to stress that point that the doors were locked. But Jesus still came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Also in Luke chapter 24, verse 36, it says, while they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said, peace be with you. And, you know, when that happened, they were startled and frightened and they were thinking they saw a ghost. But Jesus wanted to prove that he was not just a ghost, but he was very physical. So he said to them, why are you troubled? Why, are do, why does doubt rise in your minds? Look at my hands and feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. And when he said this, you know, he showed them his hands and feet. And then he said something else. He said, do you have anything here to eat? <laughs> and then they gave him a piece of fish. Wow. And he took that and ate it in their presence. So he wanted to show them that he was very physical. And this is amazing because from this, we can see that with this new heavenly spiritual body, Jesus was able to walk through a wall and then be touched on his physical body and also eat food. <laughs> Which is nice because it proves that in the new body you're going to have, you will still like to eat. Say amen to that. But basically with this new body, the physical world could not limit him. He could walk through a physical wall and then be physical again. He was basically able to exist in two different realms at the same time. And that's what you're going to be able to do when you receive that same body as well. You will be able to operate in two different realms at once. You see, we live in a physical world. You can see physical things, you can touch physical things, but there is also a spiritual world with spiritual forces and spiritual wonders all around us that you can't even see. And in fact, the only way you can operate with the spiritual realm is through the Holy Spirit that is within you, which allows you to receive things like insight and revelation, but you can't really interact with it. You can't really see it. But in this new body, <laughs> you will be able to not only operate with the physical world, but also with the spiritual world at the same time. In the new body, you will truly see and interact with everything, but you will be limited by nothing. Like Jesus was not even limited by a door. So this is a, a concept that's really foreign to our existence. And Believe it or not, there is a scene from a popular movie that kind of illustrates what this looks like. And it's not really a Christian movie, but it's a good film. The Matrix Reloaded. <laughs> and uh, there's a couple of characters in this movie that kind of demonstrate how it would kind of look if someone could operate in two different realms at once. And check out this scene and you'll see what I'm talking about. These guys are able to go through physical objects. And that's similar to how the new body will be. So it's just kind of interesting. Check this out. Close it quick. Run! Just like me. Now, of course, you know, what we're going to have is going to be a lot more glorious and amazing than that. But it just kind of gives an illustration of like you're going to be able to do things that are completely new to what we can do now. So 
Something else that Jesus did in his new body, which shows us what we're going to be able to do, is recorded in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 6. It says, after that, and it's referring to after he was resurrected, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time. Now, you've probably read that before, but when you really study the text and you really study the verse, you realize that this verse is loaded. It says that when he was resurrected, he appeared to more than 500 people. And then it says at the same time. Now, you could just say to yourself, OK, maybe after he was resurrected, he went on a mountain and he gave a speech to like a big crowd of 500 people. Or maybe he went to a room that was filled with 500 people. But actually, um, many scholars and others note that that may not be the case because this verse, it says at the same time. And it's likely that the reason that the verse says at the same time is because it wants to emphasize a point that Jesus wasn't just appearing to a large crowd of 500 people or an audience of 500 people. But it wants to emphasize that he appeared to 500 people in different places at the same time. He didn't just speak to a big crowd, but it is likely that this is saying that in this new heavenly spiritual body, he appeared to multiple people in different locations at the same time. Now, how could you do that with if you didn't have FaceTime or or Skype? How could that even be possible? Well, it's possible if you have that new heavenly spiritual body. You see, in the new heavenly spiritual body. You will not be limited by physical space or by time. This means that you would be able to be in multiple places at the same time. You see, this is going to be a completely new state of existence. Think about it. If in this new body, you're not going to be limited by time. That brings a lot of questions into your mind. Does that mean that when you have this new body, that if you're not limited by time, that you could possibly go ahead of time or even back in time? I don't know. I'm not going to touch that. You know, I only want to stick to what the scripture is showing. But I mean, it brings to mind that some amazing things are going to be possible. And all I know is when we, when we receive this new body, it will be a completely new state of existence. So what will you look like? What will you look like? Will you look like yourself? Well, we're, gonna about to, we're about to find that out right now. First of all, we know that when we receive the new heavenly spiritual body at Jesus's return, we know that we're not going to be limited in any way. We won't have any pain. We won't have any death. We won't have any backaches. We won't have any of that stuff. We won't even have the same uh, sinful cravings and addictions that our body has because our body will be perfect, essentially. So what will we look like? Well, Jesus, when he was resurrected in his new body, Jesus was able to look however he wanted to look. <laughs> That's right. He was able to look however he wanted to look. Now, that's amazing in itself, because, you know, that we will go on intense diets and we will pluck our eyebrows. We will get plastic surgery. We will do all these things to try to look a certain way. But in that new body, if you want to look a certain way, you just got to have the thought and it's done. We see an illustration of this because Jesus appeared to a couple of his followers on the road to Emmaus. And when he appeared to them. He didn't want them to recognize him. He wanted to see what they were saying about the death of the Messiah. And when they saw him, he, Jesus, he changed his appearance just like that. He just changed his appearance. And they were talking with him for a long time. And when he was ready to reveal to them who he really was in an instance, they were able to recognize him. And he morphed into the familiar face that they saw when he was in his human body. So Jesus was able to look one way and then at, at, a, at a whim, he was able to look another way in your new body. You will be able to look how you want to look. <laughs> it gets deeper than that because you may wonder, OK, so if Jesus could, could look basically in his new body, however he wanted to look, 
how did he really, really look like? How how is the normal resurrection body going to look? Well, <laughs> when Jesus was resurrected on the earth, most of the time he looked like his earthly self. The Bible records that he, he to most people just looked the way he always had looked in his earthly body. And that was probably by choice. I'm, obviously, it was by choice. But we also in the Bible get a glimpse of how Jesus looked in his glorified heavenly form. And this also will show you how you're, you're going to kind of appear. So let's get into it. <laughs> this is fun. So we see in the book of Revelation, uh, chapter one, verse 10, John had a vision of how Jesus will look when he returns. And we know that because in verse 10, it says on the Lord's day, I was in the spirit and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. So we know that when John is seeing Jesus, he's he's seeing Jesus on the day he's going to return because it says the Lord's day. And when you study the Lord's day or the day of the Lord in the Old Testament by the prophets, that always refers to that point when Jesus is returning to the earth with his crowns on, not crowns of thorns, but crowns of glory and majesty. And he is going to reclaim every domain on earth as the kingdom of God. And he is going to come in his full glory. And this is the day that John is caught up to see. And when he sees Jesus in this moment, he is seeing him in full glory. And he says, I heard a voice from me, a voice behind me like a trumpet. I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And it was someone like a son of man. Well, we already know that the son of man is Jesus dressed in a robe. And here he describes his appearance. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like a blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was, was like the sound of rushing waters. <laughs> I even tell you, that's glory. Man. John saw Christ in his heavenly form, and this shows us how we will, yes, be able to look however we want to look, but we will also have a glorified heavenly appearance as well. First John three, two. Dear friends. Now we are children of God. And what we will be has not yet manifested. But we know that when Christ appears, we will be like him and we will see him. As he is. My friends, there's much to look forward to. And I want you to have a copy of these spiritual growth documents. So just email me at Jaron at AOCnet.org and you will automatically be sent the link to access all of them. No charge because this is I mean, this is what we do. And the study notes for this teaching, you will also find free and available at the link in the description of this video. And so check that out. It's titled The Resurrection Body. So you can go deeper into the text and be able to just be excited because there's so much to look forward to. And uh, I hope that you would um, share this video with those that you know, because anything that we can do to get the word out, God loves and rewards. So please share this video with your family, friends, and God bless you and stay tuned for the next video. It will be amazing. They're only going to get better and better because God is really doing something. And as many of you have been led to support the ministry and we appreciate that. And we're going to continue to do this work in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Take care.